I'm really lucky to be able to practice commercial art as well as fine art. I've always been a graphic designer. That's what I studied in college, and that's what I was comfortable with. I didn't intend to be a painter. I didn't study it intensely, and it wasn't up until a year ago that I started painting. After practicing graphic design for so many years, I actually wanted to make the colors with my own hands rather than just seeing them on the screen. Playing around with color and motion is very therapeutic for me. And it wasn't until I started showing people my paintings that other people could see and feel things in my paintings as well. Even though they're just colors, there's no shapes in them, there's nothing that you can identify in them. People still identify with these paintings. The colors evoke something. It reminds them of something. It brings them back to a memory or a moment. When I was a little girl, we didn't have a lot of money. And so the way we would spend time and the way we would travel as a family is by going around Michigan or just going for a hike and spending time outside. And that's when I started gaining an appreciation for color. For so many months of the year, it was gray and cold. And then suddenly these beautiful colors would come out and the lake would just be this glimmering blue. Even as an adult, I love the colors that Michigan brings during the summer. And there are these vibrant greens and these amazing turquoise waters and rich dark blues that I just wish I could capture. And most of my sketchbooks and most of my concepts are just me for hours mixing colors and capturing them on paper. And then I started to explore the meaning of these colors. They mean so much because we often don't see them until the summertime. I know there are people that may not understand abstract art or understand why I'm throwing a bunch of colors on a canvas. But if I can get at least one person to say, yeah, I get that, I get the, the colors, that makes me feel something, then that makes me feel really fulfilled as an artist. I spent hours mixing these colors. I spent hours layering paint after paint, just trying to, to get something that means something, that makes me look at it and say, wow, I really like how that turned out. It may just be a bunch of colors and, and shapes, but it's something that really resonates with me. I'm a very impatient person and I'm easily distracted, so going outside is perfect for me just to get away and to think. My dog and I, we just head outside and get lost and I feel like I'm in the best art museum because nature is the best type of art and that's where I make my best work because it's just so beautiful out there. I had this little art desk growing up that my parents set up in the corner of the kitchen and I would just sit there and think and my mom would be like, what are you doing? I'm just thinking, just let me think, just let me draw with my crayons and that's, I'm still that way to this day. I think I'll always be creating. I'll be 80 years old and I'll still be painting, but I always am trying to just make the world prettier. I always want to draw attention to the colors and the things that make me happy. And that's why creating is so important.